Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan, welcome to this video. My name is Diakad Zaman, hope you guys are enjoying yourself. This series is dedicated to helping you guys to understand the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hope you guys check out the videos, hit the like, subscribe button, and leave a comment. A'udhu billahi min shaytan al-rajim. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَابُوا وَأَصْلَحُوا وَبَيَّنُوا فَأُولَئِكَ أَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِمْ وَأَنَا التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuing what we mentioned last time. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about those people who have committed crimes. Those people who have, have done, the, have done the, uh, the, the, one of the most heinous crimes you can ever commit which is to conceal the truth from the people. The people need to see the truth. They need to be allowed in a safe place to see what is Islam about? What is Allah saying in the Quran? Every human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, has the right to do this. Those people who are in control, whether it's the governments, whether it's scholars, whether it's institutes, whoever it may be that people look up to, they are the people who can get one of the worst crimes and penalties that you can ever imagine. Why? Because they stop the truth from reaching the people. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِلَّا tabu." In other words, the ones who are going to get the curse and the ones who are damned are those people who have committed these heinous crimes. And as for those people, on the other hand, who have done wrong, who have concealed the truth, but then they turn around and they redeem themselves. They ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawbah, for forgiveness. Allah says, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَابُوا Number one, those people who have turned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tabu, Tawbah. The word Tawbah means to return back to Allah. You realize your mistake. You realize how far you've gone. And it doesn't matter how far you've gone, you come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You repent. You apologize. Number two, وَأَصْلَحُوا And they rectify anything bad that they have done. If they have caused harm in society, in their communities, they go and they fix it. They fix the wrong that they did. If whatever they did resulted in people looking at Islam in a bad way, they have to fix this. They have to do as, as best as they can to redeem the matter. And number three, and they have to openly express, openly explain to people what Islam is about. Now, subhanAllah, you imagine. Imagine there is an Islamophobe. Imagine there is someone who hates Islam, who despises Islam. Yet this individual realizes his mistake, comes on the media or comes on social media and in front of everyone says that he has repented from what he has done and that he has started amends and that he has initiated an explanation for what Islam is about. Imagine subhanAllah, how many people will, will hold this person in high esteem? فَأُولَٰئِكَ أَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِمْ Allah says, those are the ones whose repentance I will accept. أَتُوبُ عَلَيْهِمْ I will give them tawfiq, the ability to repent to me. I'll give them the ability for their repentance to be accepted. وَأَنَا التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Whilst I am the one who is the tawwab, the one who accepts tawbah time and time and time again. And Rahim, the most merciful. Why would you have to be scared of me? If you have it in your heart that you have committed a crime and you are really sad about this, you regret what you have done, all you have to do is turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Himself says, Ana, Ana, subhanAllah. When in the Quran Allah uses the pronoun Ana, I, this shows intimacy. Allah is there. Allah is with every single one of you when it comes to repentance. He will forgive you. Allah will not distance you away because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our creator. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who will forgive us more than our parents. May Allah forgive us. May Allah have mercy on us, show us kindness. SubhanAllah. What a powerful verse. What hope Allah gives in this verse to all of us who have committed wrong. But tawbah, forgiveness cannot just come by you just saying, Ya Allah, forgive me. No, you have to take the steps. So what do we learn from these verses? Number one, the first is that anyone who has committed any wrong has to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's incumbent upon everyone to understand you cannot live your life and carry on with the past crimes that you have committed without feeling inside your heart that you have committed wrong and turn back to Allah. The second thing that we learn from this is that we have to make amends in society. We have to fix the wrongs that we have done. Whatever wrong it is, however serious it is, we have to take the steps. And it might be hard. It's very, very difficult 
when you've been portraying yourself in such a way, when you have been so convinced and so certain about how Islam was wrong and how the Prophet ﷺ is wrong and this and that. Now all of a sudden you have to stand up. This is such a powerful statement. And the third thing that we have to remember is you have to realize Allah is the one who will forgive you. Allah is the creator. It doesn't matter how many sins you have committed and how high those sins are. Allah will always wipe out sins as long as you are the one that turns back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us. May Allah allow us to benefit from these verses and become people who speak the truth when it's, when it's needed and become representatives of the deen of Islam in a way pleasing to Allah. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you to all my patrons supporting my channel. If you guys want to become patrons, support my channel, please check out the description below. Details are there. And I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair for watching this video. I hope to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, please leave us feedback, get in contact with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair guys for all of your support. Without your support, I wouldn't have been able to produce the videos that I've put up on my YouTube channel. And there is so much more that I really want to do. And without the support of you guys who are patrons, generously supporting this channel i've been able to get myself a camera which as you guys can see the quality of this camera a mic system software i've been able to hire an editor so what do i want to do i want to make lots and lots and lots of more videos for beginners for intermediate advanced in the subjects like arabic and fiqh and hadith and tafsir and aqida and all those other things as well and for this to happen again this channel needs support so if you guys want to become patrons and support this channel, then check out the link below. Also, if you do become patrons, you'll have access to videos that I don't put up on my normal YouTube channel. So check that out, inshallah. And there's most other perks as well that you guys can uh, benefit from. And if you want to um, access uh, this channel through social media, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, Facebook page, and other things as well that you can visit. So Jazakumullah khair again guys, thank you very much for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.